After God is going to make you not listen to the word. Amen. I want you to prepare your heart. This word is not only for those who are not born again. This word is to lift us all. This word is to lift us all. So don't be comfortable where you are. Do not be comfortable with your situation. Do not be comfortable with where you are. Do not be comfortable where you are. But I want you to desire more in Christ. I want you to desire more in Christ. I want you to desire more in Christ. God has a purpose for you. When you are being here, it's not in vain. You're being here. It's not a waste of time. You're being here. It's not in vain. It is not in vain. It is not in vain. It's not a waste of time. But I want to receive this evening. Amen. of God, I want to welcome you in the body. May the God bless you. May the Holy Spirit be with you. May you be magnified in the Lord. In the name of Jesus. God bless you so much. Permit me to read the book of uh, Mark, chapter 11, verse 1. And I'll read it in Kiswahili. My translator has read it in English. Nankalimaniwangwatayskomapakizuni. <laughs> Nendeni mpaka kile kijiji kinacho wakabili na katika kuingia ndani yake mara mtaona mwanapunda amefungwa aliyepandwa na mtu bado mfugweni kamleteni na mtu akiwaambia mbona mnafanya hivi semeni bwana amemhitaji na mara ata uh, atamrudisha uh, atamrudisha tena hapa kaenda zao waka mwana mwana punda amefungwa penye mlango nje katika jia kuu wakafungua baadhi ya watu waliosimama eh, huko wakawaambia mnafanya nini kufungua mwana punda wakamwambia kama Yesu aliwaagiza na wakamruhusu wakamletea Yesu yule mwana punda waka ta, uh, wakatandika mavazi yao juu yake akaketi juu yake Watu wengi waka tandaza mavazi yao jiani na wengine wa matawi yaliyo uh, walio yapata mashambani so far the word of god neno la bwana english and when they came nigh to jerusalem and to bethsage at bethany at the mount of olives he sent forth two of his disciples and said unto them Go your way into the village over against you, and as soon as you enter into it, you shall find a colt tied, whereon never man sat, lose him, and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do you do this? Say thee that the Lord hath need of him, and straight away he will send him hither. And they went their way, and found the colt tied by the door, without in a place where two ways met, and they loosened him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye lose in the cause? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the cause to Jesus, and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches of the trees, and strode them in the way. 
Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, once again, we are here to go to. We call upon your favor and grace to be upon us. May you touch somebody's heart as what your message that you have preach here. Those who are far, may they listen to your word. May you touch them wherever they are. May you bless everyone who is listening this message today. Young men and uh, young women. Bijana. Elderly people are around here. May you God touch them. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, say my amen. Opote on before, say amen. Mwadani Jesu wa Rogosho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwadani Jesu wa Rogosho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm so happy once again to be here. When I step on this platform, the main target is to preach the gospel. To ensure that hell is empty and heaven is full. And that is the message that we need to preach to the people. The devil must know that he shall remain empty and dead. And Jesus shall be full of people in his kingdom. I know that you are so busy you cannot even come near. I want to thank my pastor Harold. He has given me PS system to read to your, to your ears very well. Pastor Harold is my friend and is a pastor of mine in this area. We have our church there, down there, near jo, uh, Kiriti Joy Academy. He shall tell you wherever it is. After this, when I minister, I finish my ministry. My names are William uh, Kangu. I am a reverend. Anointed with the word of God. I come from western side of Kenya. I'm so happy to be in Kiambu County. I love this county because of its coolness. And I love this county because of many food, plenty food that it has. I am seeing this county to be a blessed county. And I also I love this county because people dwell in they love God. They fear the Lord. But in many places that I've been going, I've been seeing some opposition of the word of God. I love these people of this area that they love God. That's why they welcomed us here to preach the gospel. God has a good plan for you. Wherever you are, just wave to the Lord and say, Amen. Those my beloved black brothers who are there, can you just wait to the Lord say amen? God bless you so much. My heart blesses you so much. For those who are behind here, I just wait to the Lord say amen. God bless you so much. I'm so blessed, I'm so much blessed. Those who are on the other side, may God bless us to wave to the Lord and say, Amen. 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 Now we have been uh, here. I want to tell you that I love this language of yours. It's really lovely. There's a 
Saturday sisi na just band here called Lucy shall teach me the 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 good language. Una dada fulani hapo nyuma anaitwa Luca na kwa kunifunza hiyo lugha yenu. Ah mama Shiro just behind there shall be teach me Kikuyu language. Na mama Shiro pale nyuma pia anakuwa akinifunza neno la Bwana. Hiyo story watu wanaitwa Andu Andu atogoto. Akiniambia kwamba watu watogoto wanaitwa Andu atogoto. Amen. 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 Kwa hiyo na kuishwa na neema ya Mungu iliyo katika eneo hili. And so I am pleased with the grace of God that is in this place. I want to pray for my translators that we go together today. Na ninaomba kwamba tutaenda sambamba na mkalimani wangu jioni hii. Because God has set us in this area called the Goto Center. Maana Bwana ametutuma katika eneo hili la Togoto. And Togoto is a fertile place for the gospel. Na Togoto ni mahali penye rutuba kwa ajili ya neno la Bwana. The Bible says, and it will say that Jesus Christ he met his disciples. Kwamba Yesu Kristo alikutana na wafuasi wake. And he shared with them a word. Na akashiriki nao katika neno. He told them to go to the other side. Akawaambia wakaenda upande ule mwingine. Wabetage. But when they were going there, Jesus Christ he told them. Yesu Kristo akawaambia, I want to go there and you shall find a cold tide. Nataka muende kule nanyi mtapata mwana punda amefungiwa. You shall find a cold tide. Mtapata mwana punda amefungiwa. I want you to go and untie it. Na nataka muende mkamfungue. Today we want to untie the Togoto people. Leo hii tunataka tukawafungue watu wa Togoto. The gospel has come to untie somebody who is in Togoto. Injili imekuja kufungua mtu aliye hapa Togoto. Togoto people I love you so much. Watu wa Togoto ninawapenda sana. As the Bible says, and iko linavyosema, Jesus is that his disciple. Kwamba Yesu akatoa amri kwa wanafunzi wake. Go and untie and a cold there that is tied there. Nendeni mkafungua mwanapunda aliyefungwa pale. At the village that is just on your side. Katika kijiji kilicho katika upande huu. Here yeah, at the village there is a village there that is tied a cold that has been tied. Hapo Bethfage mtapata mwanapunda aliyefungiwa. I want you to go and untie it and bring it to me. Nataka muende mkaifungue na muilete kwangu. If anyone shall ask you why are you doing so? Kama mtu yeyote atakuuliza kwa nini unafanya hivi? Tell him that the master has instructed us to come to untie this cord. Mwambie kwamba Bwana wetu ametuamrisha tuje tumfungue huyu mwanapunda. So it is an order that has been given by the master. Kwa hivyo ni amri iliyotolewa na Bwana. We cannot uh, uh, undo the order of our master. Hatuwezi tukakosa kufanya ile amri ya Bwana wetu. Now today as we step here at the ground of Togoto. Hata leo tunapokanyaga hii ardhi ya Togoto. We have come here with an order of our master. Tumekuja na amri kutoka kwa mkuu wetu. Because he knows how the world is. Manake anafahamu vyema jinsi Togoto ilivyo. My home place is in Buteri. Mimi kwangu natoka kule Buteri. My county governor is Oparanya. Governor wangu ni Oparanya. But you know I cannot know this area very well. Lakini wajua siwezi nikafahamu mahali hapa vyema. I'm asking my master is instructed me to come. Ila tu Bwana wangu ameniamrisha nije because she knows this area very well. Manake anafahamu hapa vizuri. Ila somebody who is prevailing in pain. Anajua mtu anayeteseka katika machungu. This does somebody is now in support some problem and some challenge. Anajua mtu anayepitia mazito mahali hapa. That's why he started me to come here. Ndio maana akaniamrisha nije hapa. I have come here with an order from my master. Nimekuja hapa kwa ajili ya amri kutoka kwa Bwana wangu. Order is more than that order of the president. He amri ni zaidi ya amri ya rais. This order is an order that is more than the county governor. Amri hii ni zaidi ya yule governor wa county. It is beyond the police of the area. Ni zaidi ya maaskari wa hapa. So I have been sent by the master of this uh, who knows this place very well. Kwa hivyo nimechumwa na Bwana anayefahamu hapa vyema. I know it is an evening. Najua ni jioni. Where people are so busy. Ama watu wana shughuli nyingi. Yeah, people are going to buy for food. Kama watu wanaenda kununua vyakula. The people are going to do that strolling around. Watu ambao wanatembea tu. People are doing their businesses here in the evening. Watu wanafanya biashara zao mahali
evening that is full of different activities. Now our Jesus, Son of God, has come and has said to you, somebody. And has something new for you today. I have been sent as I repeat to say. That Jesus has sent me with an order. Yesu amenichuma hapa na amri. Oh, in a village beyond you there. Baba nenda katika vijiji chini ile kilicho kando yako. You shall find a call that has been tied there. Utapata mwanapunda aliyefungiwa pale. You know a call that has been tied. Unajua mwanapunda aliyefungiwa? It cannot go beyond the the, 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 the rope that has been tied. Aweza kaenda mbali kuliko ile kamba aliyofungiwa kwayo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
in you. The power of the gospel. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. You are a business woman. You have been doing business for many years. But there's nothing you can do. You cannot be able to buy even a plot. You cannot be able to pay the rent of the house. You cannot be able to pay the rent of the house. You cannot be able to do anything in life. Now let me tell you today. Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. Has given us an order. Yes, Christ. 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 I know Jesus. My brother, my friend Lawi. I know Jesus. Now he has power. I can remember one day. It is a record from the dead. He was, he was crucified. He was crucified. And he died. It is a record of the dead. The Bible tells me, there was a certain rock. Many big rocks. That was placed on top of the of the sepulchre. I'm happy, I'm happy, my brother. I'm happy, I'm happy, my brother. 
today we must present Jesus. Leo lazima tuwakilishe Yesu. We must tell them the power. Lazima tuambie nguvu that is resurrected him from the dead. Ambaye anatupua aliyokufa. We must tell them the power. Lazima tuambie nguvu that can perform miracles. Ambaye anaweza ikatenda miujiza. We must tell you the power. Lazima tukwambie nguvu that is in Jesus Christ. Ambaye ni Yesu Kristo that can set you free. Ambaye anaweza kuweka huru from the prison that you are in. Tukagereza uliomo. We are many people. Watu wengi who are in the prison ambao wako kwenye gereza they cannot have peace hawezi kuwa na amani they are so troubled Amen. They are to trouble. Wako na shida mingi. Wako na mapito mingi. Now today. Lakini leo. Jesus. Yesu. The Son of God. Mwana wa Mungu. He has ordered us today. Ametuamrisha leo. To die. Kufungua a certain promiscuous woman. Yule mtu aliyefungwa. A certain promiscuous woman. Mwana aliyefungwa. A lot of woman. Mwanamke msharati, mwanamke msharati, maisha yake ni kwa baa. Ambao kazi yake ni kwa baa. I'm sorry today. Ndio sema leo, you have been tied. Umefungwa in the promise with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are preaching Jesus. Nobody is who has power. Aliye na nguvu. Kwa tayari huma kufungua mke mwingine. Kwa maana ya promise with me. Katika ile ushara fulani today. Mtu anayetaka leo. I am presenting today. Ninayo mtangaza leo. I am presenting to you Jesus. Na kuonyesha Yesu. I am presenting to you Jesus. Na kuelekea Yesu. The one who died and is alive. Aliyekufa akafufuka. I am presenting to you Jesus. Na kuelekea Yesu. Who can anaweza kupona sickness magonjwa amaiko kwenye damu hallelujah hallelujah magonjwa amaiko kwenye damu asaipitizi yesu he knows you very well anakujua vyema na kwa mataka alivamu kwa wengi mlevi you try the best way umejaribu njia nzuri na tunatunda na tuki ili uweze kuacha kunywa pombe lakini leo wewe umeshimwa tunakuletea we are preaching to you tunakuhubiria aliyekufa na akafufuka sema amen sema amen ndio Yesu mtano walio pale nani katika kinyozia We bless you so much. Not after this I'll come there to save me. I want you to be born again. You are my friend. You are my friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this year today. We have to tell you Jesus loves you so much. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? said in his heart yes what can be our father with our order our end of the army one day somebody who was the father of the lord is in the prison a little congregation a prison a little you are a person you are a woman you are a man you are a wife you are a child you are a child unaweza swali what is happening nini inafanyika the answer is timu ni hili umefungwa na kuletea yesu we have been lunatic people tukuna watu wengi wa mambo mengi lunatic people wale watu wenye kokogesa wako very well wako vizema sana their parents wazazi wao they cherish them very well wako ishu ngishere sana lakini shetani wakaleta mapepo watu zao ndani yao Jesus yes yes power ato na nguvu kufungua aweke mtu huru aweke mtu huru aweke mtu huru unajua nini sin dhambi inaweza kukusunga ukautumikie unaweza kutumikia dhambi kila usiku kila mchana wewe mtumishi wa dhambi dhambi inapongoza wewe ni mke mwovu wewe ni mtu usiku na mchana unaongozwa na dhambi na dhambi ni ile mambo ya shetani 
Satan ni kitu ya shetani. Sema ya kwamba ninasema ya kwamba Yesu mwana Mungu Jesus of God ako na mamlaka he has got a power to control school move you na kitungo in the pain by Satan that the devil amekuweka as put you in watu wa moto people of moto watu wa moto people of moto watu wa moto people of moto ninatoa ya kwamba I know one thing. We and your child. We took to school. And now he is a prostitute. There in Nairobi. Apoko inanga street. Hakuna kitu. That is good. Kizuri. Unapata kutoka pintu wake. Mela kutoka pale. Apoko inanga street. Pale kwa inange. Yesu. Mwana wa Mungu. Yes, God has to do. Ame tutuma hapa. What are you? Kukufungua. To bring you to him. To collect the What to bring you to him? To collect the kwake mwenyewe. Bring it to you. To collect the wewe. Bring you to Jesus. To collect the kwake Jesus. Is salvation kwa wokovu. Is salvation kwa wokovu. Is my salvation ni kwa wokovu. You cannot come to Jesus. I want to go to kwake Jesus. उनाई डायबिटीज हुरु
unto him quite He has sent us and to Toma to bring the God to let him go to unto him quite The Bible says in the Genesis, in the book of Isaiah, that he expects to say, chapter 53, that he comes to the number of men who are missing a tattoo. Verse one. It says of him, powerful word. In a sermon, no one can go through. Who has believed? Me, nani ame amini. Our message, unchunde wetu. Who is it that has believed? Me, nani ame amini. Our message, unchunde wetu. Goes with him. Kwa na yeye, he grew like a tender tree. Ali kwa kama mti dogo. He took him. Meleake, he suffered a lot at the second stage, and now the Bible says, "Nasasa, the Bible says, he was seen as a rich man." Alionekana ni kama amekataliwa. You know Isaiah says, Isaiah anasema, na kuwezi na kasi believe our message. Ni nani huyo ameamini uchumbe wetu? The God of people. Watu wa kugoto. Is there anybody who wants to believe the message of Jesus? Yes, kuna yule ameamini uchumbe wa Yesu. Because Isaiah is a prophet. Mana nabini, Isaiah ni nabini. And he's been seen as a crazy person. Na anaonekana kama mtu kicha. So no one can believe him. Kwa hivyo kuna na yeweza kumwamini. He sees things as on the cross. And now Yesu msalabani. He sees him as being beaten so much. And I've won a big one sana. And he has been rejected by many people. Na anaketaliwa na watu wengi. When he presents his vision to the people. And apoleta maono yake kwa watu. No one listens to him. Akuna anayo mskiza. No one believes him. Akuna anayo muamini. He's been seen as a bad person. And now anaketa kama wazimu. That's why he said. Yukosa anasema. Who has believed? My master, I mean, you to believe the Holy Ghost. You know, the people of God, we brought unto them. The people of God, the people of God, the people of God, we brought unto you. The message of Jesus, the message of salvation, the message of salvation. We are telling you that Jesus, the Lord of the Lord, He has come for you. Ame kuta kukufungua. Yes. Given us an order. I'm a two party. I'm a melaka. To untie you. To kufungua. From that sickness that you're in. To toka katika magonjwa uliyenai. To bed with it. To make care of the community. Jesus has told us to come to untie you. Yes, I'm a two party. To kufungua. You're building a business. Una fanya biashara. That has no breakthrough. Aye, no penyo. You are using loan. Ona tumia loan. That loan cannot be done without a loan. Na yote kukusaidia kapisa. We are presenting to you to. Who has given us an order? Am I am to put your arm round you? To confuse from that problem. That is why you should have cancer. You are saratani. Of diabetes. You are diabetes. To confuse from that problem. Kuto ya kwa shida hiyo Ambayo ulizaliwa nae Ulizaliwa na shida fulani Hata watu wengi wanachua Wanajua We ni mtu kicha Yesu wa metutuma Ili tukufungue Akuweke huru Kuto ya kwa hiyo shida Hiyo shida ya ndoa Ambaye na chukua maisha yako Yesu Ano chukatia amri Chukufungue Wacha ni kuambile Ata ya besha na mbogo Ambaye kuna ya shasa Kamuna zamini Yesu Yoko ya shara yako ndogo Itakuwa kubwa sana luka kuhu Mahana ya duwe ya mekufunga You cannot expand Awezi ya kupanuka You cannot put your house at home there Awezi ya meto mambo ya kupane Because a devil has tied you Mahana ya duwe ya mekufunga And now to tell you the preaching things Na leo tukio kwa upiri Yesu Who is gonna die you And now awezi ya kukufungua He has given us an order Ame tupatia amri Come out Boka From that problem Kwa yeshina yako In Jesus name Kwa jina la Yesu Come out Come out from that cancer. In Jesus' name. Come out from that problem. That you are in. In Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out. From that disease. That you are in. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Aha! Glory! 
I want to say, nataka kusema. I want to pray to somebody. Neno la maombi kwa mtu mmoja. Who has believed about? Ambaye ameamini ujumbe wetu. Many people will see us as, as crazy men. Wengi watatuona ni kana kwamba tuko na kicha au wazimu. But let me tell you the matter that preach today. Nataka tena kuambia ujumbe ninaohubiri leo. The matter that God has sent me to take to and tell you. Ni ujumbe Mungu ametuma ni kuhubiri ni kufungua. Check if you that problem. Ni kuweke huru kutoa kwa shida hiyo. And I have that faith. Na nina imani. Na hiyo shujaa kwa Mungu anatutuma hapa. Jesus is here with us. Yesu yu hapa nasi. Can you say amen? Sema amen. Just look to the Lord and say amen. Amen. Kama tuko na usame amen. My brother just who are just behind there. Just say amen. Wale walio pale, sema tu amen. Just to the Lord. Just say amen. Just say. Puka tu hivi. Wewe ni maloni. Just so if I can put it to me call on you. Ah, sister do not go back. My brother do not go back. Our sister Pray for you now. I want everyone to come to an ear. In fact, just come here this side. This side. For those who are there this side. I beseech you. By the grace of the Lord Jesus. For you to come over this side. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for somebody. We want to pray for you now. Can I get somebody from this area? Who loves God and say that today I want to be prayed for? My brother there on the other side. Just come over the side. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Those who are going to do shopping there. Can you just come this and I'll pray for you today? God loves you so much. Those who are just wanting to be back there. We want to pray for you now. By the love of God that is with us. Hallelujah. We want to pray for you. I want to get some worship team leader. To come forward here. As I shall be worshiping, as I shall be praying for some people here. They shall be presenting to go the worship of God. Because I believe I have the faith that today. I want to call upon the people to come this side, please. Shall I put a what what was on the caribou? Can they just come this side? We are not going to eat as we are just preachers. We are not going to eat as we are preachers. Just come over this side. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Whether you want to do it, you can do it. 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 We are to pray for you. We are to pray for you. We are to pray for you. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let's call upon uh, those who are just going there, right there, to come this time. Amen. Amen. Brother, just come this time. We want to pray together. God bless you so much. My brother, just come this time. Just come. Do we have to sing that? To sing that? To sing that? Let's come. Let's come. God bless. Sing that? To sing that? To sing that? You want to pray for somebody? To not have a problem. My sister just there with just there. Lucy, Lucy is saying something. Just come this time. We shall pray to them. Put your two cards in the hand. We are going to go home. You taught me Kikuyu very well, and I want to pray for you. We need to finish up the prayer. Sorry, not taking the phone. Mama Shiro, you taught me Kikuyu very well. I would wish to pray for you. Mama Shiro. Amen. Amen. Let's come over this time. Let's come closer. Let's come closer. To this sister where she is standing here. Don't stand. Just come. Here. Let's come. Can we raise up our hands, all of us together? In the name of Jesus, you can say, God give us a second article there. We want to pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I worship you and I bless you.